In today's episode, we are going to be talking about something pretty important. Now, as you know, we've been through great tragedy here in Western North Carolina with Hurricane Helene, and it's brought something to mind that we always kind of think about, but then, you know, you really sort of don't because we're surrounded by water bottles, and that is having a source of clean drinking water. Those folks, a lot of them aren't going to have clean drinking water for probably years. Um, I'm saying years. She's saying months. I'm saying years. But so today, we're going to be looking at the Itahill Portable Water Filtration System. Stay tuned. So this, like I said, it's a portable system, so it uses a rechargeable battery. So Kim is going to get this thing opened up and see what we got in the box. All right, so the accessories that come with this, first of all, in the accessory box. So it's got it all on the top there. So we've got a couple of tubes and the tubing it is for the outlet interface component <laughs> whatever that is yep. we'll get into that so we've got some tubes most likely this is going to be tubes coming um one for dirty one for clean i'm assuming uh, once they separate the water we have a couple of filters oh, so what do those say the hybrid, hybrid and the filter. ro filter Again, we'll get into that and figure out exactly what that means. Because what she really means to say is because we don't know right now. We don't have a clue. Um, you've got a charger. So this thing charges with USB-C. Perfect. Makes it super easy. What is that? This is your accessory bag. Oh. And inside we have another little tube. Um, and this is called the out the inlet interface component. So I guess this so is the one So that's what goes pulling. into the... Like water in. We can throw this in the creek, and this is a filter that keeps out big debris. I know what that is. I've seen that. Oh, nice. And then that'll attach, I guess, to the unit. Yep. Oh. I'll edit that out, babe. And um, I know what that is, too. Well, it doesn't say it on the package, I know what it is. So, so um, this, if you look at the top of the filters, if you want to hold up a filter. So if you look at the top of the filter, you'll see this, this here. You'll see that there. The turn on. And so that is going to help you tighten the filter in case it's wet and you can't get a grip on it. Gotcha. All right. And let's, let's look at the unit. Show us the unit, baby. It's light. Is it? Yeah, it's really light. Nice. Which is nice. Well, if you're wanting to satchel it around for clean drinking water. Yeah, I like really that light. it's got that carry handle on the top. Nice. And I don't know if we're saying the name right, I to heal, but um, that's how we're saying it. So I guess this is hybrid, RO, we're gonna figure out what that means, and the on off switch, and then your charging port. Yep. Then we have the opening that's going to be, well, they make it easy. So I guess the blue tube's Perfect. going to blue, white tube's going to white. We'll figure out exactly which one that is. And then this is going to so be the one that's the going to the creek. So it'll be the other one that goes inside. So. Yeah, first, I what's, mean... Uh, what's this? It looks like it's got a hinge. So this... The hinge is here, so it will open it. Gotcha. So, open the cover and we're replacing the elements. Okay, so this is where our filters will go. We'll go. I suppose we can go ahead and do those while we're standing here. That. So, don't stick your filters in until you know exactly how to put them in, because I do know that if you put those in wrong, you can damage the entire unit. Um, so... All right, well, fair enough. Then so we'll that's how we can make sure that they go in. And so we'll open up the instructions because at this point, the um, we can't use it immediately because this needs to be charged. So we're gonna charge it up and then we will start the insertion process and take it out to the creek and filter some water. We're gonna get a water uh, treatment test or a water uh, test kit so that we can see what is in the water when we pull it. And then we'll see what's in the water after we filter it. You know what? Watch us find a creek that has the cleanest water in the world. It could happen. Probably. All right. All right, guys. So our access to our creeks and things like that, where we would typically test this water filtration machine, are kind of hard to get to right now. So we have came out to a duck pond. And this pond is basically filled with duck feces and pee and the water is very very murky so we're just gonna throw this right in so what's the first thing you're gonna be doing so the first thing we're gonna do is insert the filters 
Um, there's a hybrid and an RO, and it clearly shows on the unit RO and hybrid. And then what we're gonna do is we want to line the arrows up on the unlock and then twist it into the lock position. And they give you, you can do it by hand or they give you this little wrench that makes it a little easier for you. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these inserted. Now, so you'll push down and then twist it into the lock position. Nice. Just like so. And so and I just wanna show the arrow. Hold on a minute. Yep. So you got the arrow pointing like towards the unlock. the unlock. And then you just press down. If you put these in the wrong way, it can completely destroy the unit. So you want to make sure you put them in the right way. So get it right. So get it right and tight. So we're going to go ahead and start to filter this water. Now, something to know is that we have already um, done the pre-test on this, meaning we hook this up at home because you don't want to, the water that comes out of this, the first 10 minutes of the water that runs through this machine um, is kind of crappy water. It needs to cleanse the filters or prime the filters. And so you don't want to use that water. So we have already done that test at home. We ran it for 10 minutes to go ahead and prime those filters uh, before we attempt to drink that water. So guys, if you're using this machine, do not drink that first jar of water that comes through the filter because it's gonna have all kinds of filter crap in it. So we've got two jars here. What she's gonna do right now is she's gonna go get a jar of that duck water because we've also got a test kit and the test kit should be able to tell us, you know, what the water's current state is, and then we'll test it after we filter it. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know if we're gonna understand this, this test because we're not chemists, but it kind of looks like a swimming pool test. So, so we'll just see if there's any difference between the water. So, please, if you fall in and I get it on YouTube, babe, it's what we could need to finally be somebody on YouTube. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. That uh, that's some yellow that looks water. Like some great water. That is. That straight so, looks like pee water. Do you trust this machine to where you're gonna? It really does look like pee, guys. Okay. So even if you don't see any difference on the test, at least we'll be able to see. Hey, Hopefully the water is clear water. now. Yeah. Hopefully, it will give us clear water. So how do you do that? So we're just gonna stick this in for two seconds, and then get the results after 30 minutes, or 30 seconds. One, two. All right. Oops, didn't need those. All right. Okay, so I see how to read it, kinda. So you can see up above each square, you've got reds and greens. So I guess if it's in those squares with the greens, you're good, and if it's in the squares with the red, you're probably bad. And that will be our dirty water jar. Okay. And this will be our clean water jar. So what's next? Hooking up Actually, hoses? I'm going to go ahead and hook the hoses up up here, yeah. So this is the input hole. So this is where the big tube goes. This it's is the part we're going to throw in the creek. So this is the part that goes in the creek. The geese have entered the chat, guys. They want to see what we're doing. All right, so you just screw this into the input hole. Just like so. Nice and tight. Easy peasy. And then this one is very simple as well. You have a blue hose and a white hose, and you just insert those in, blue and white. They have sort of made it dummy proof. And, and so, so the blue water is good for like washing and things like that, uh, but not for drinking. The white water's for drinking, right babe? Into the gunk. And we said the blue one was going to be the dirty water, right? Yep. I hope that's right. You're going to be drinking some nastiness. All right. So all you have to do is hold down the power button for three seconds. Two, three. There it is. And the first thing that I notice is how super quiet it is. Oh, there it goes. All right, so both hoses are going. It looks like the wastewater. Ooh, look at that. Can you see the cloudiness in the wastewater? 
Um, I don't know what it's getting out of there, but it is getting something. And then we got clear water here. Okay, so we've got a full jar of clean water. Let's go ahead and turn that off, and it's just a one click to turn it off. And then we'll go and test. So the wastewater, it's cleared up now, and I guess it's just the impurities air. kind of, um, yeah, the air Maybe kind of making it cloudy, it. but you can still see it's cloudy compared to the clean water. Oh, yeah. And you can definitely see that the water is not yellow anymore. Yeah, it's definitely not. So let's go over and test the new clean water. Now keep in mind, even though this is dirty water, it has been filtered and you can use it for um, washing, um, cleaning, that sort of thing. So this is not trash water. You can still use it for I some I think they things. call it gray water or potable water maybe. Maybe. But yeah, this is not bad water. So don't think, oh, it's wasted water because it is still usable water. You just wouldn't want to drink it. All right, so let's test the new clean water. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I wonder if it actually affects any of that stuff. I don't know. Because you think that stuff has to be changed with chemicals. And uh, I, mean, I don't see a whole lot of change there. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna change the chemical portion of it. We need some kind of bacterial test. We bought the wrong test. We bought the wrong test. We bought the wrong test. But that's okay. But because at the end of the day, lay it down. Um, it's clearly clear water now. <laughs> yeah. Compared to the yellow water we had. And it was way yellower than that before. So, are mm. you gonna taste it? Yeah, I'm gonna taste it. Hold on, here we go, here we go. It smells clean. Does it? Mm-hmm. All right. It tastes fine. It tastes good. All right, let me, let me, let me taste it? it. I'm not gonna let you be the only one. Yeah. Yeah. Tastes I don't, great. I don't taste duck shit. <laughs> so. so and it hey. doesn't smell bad. No. Now I'll taste the other one. No, it's dirty water. <laughs> Why would you do that to me? <laughs> It'd be good YouTube, baby. <laughs> no, it's the dirty Yeah, water. I think the water test is basically the Just same. Actually, no, you can see some change here in the bottom. It's not orange anymore. The pH is, um, is better. And. Yeah, really, that's about it. That's about it. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, we just got the wrong test. Yeah. We needed a test for bacteria. For bacteria and things like that. But, um, again, I mean, I'll let y'all know if I get the poops in, like, 24 hours. But, I don't know. I mean, problem. no, it's, it's honestly, like, so leave that, go get a jar straight out of the pond. And let's hold it up and compare it. You know, I just keep having you go back there in hopes that you're gonna fall. Look, the little little guy thought you were gonna feed him. Oh, next time we're bringing bread. So. Yeah, wow. Clearly. So it turned that into that. I mean, definitely a clear winner there. Yeah, there we go, it's a little better. Yeah. So you can definitely see that it's cleaner. So guys, this little thing is portable, rechargeable. Um, honestly, if you're in a situation right now like Western North Carolina, this could be such an invaluable piece of equipment. Um, I don't think it's terribly priced. And uh, you know, these filters are good for, I think around 600 gallons of filtration. So um, it's, it's really quite remarkable that it is this easy to set up, this easy to use. Um, yeah, this thing is, is just, if anything this situation has taught us, clean water is so important, it can't be ignored, and this thing could keep you alive. And I mean, it's a, it, it, like you said, it's a life-saving device, you know, because of what we've witnessed in Western North Carolina, and so many of those people are without clean drinking water. Uh, they've had their own boil advisories for several of those counties still. Um, six weeks later, um, this would be this would be just precious for them. So. Well, and think of the individuals that we've delivered those power stations to. They could actually use those power stations to charge to these, this device uh, to keep their, their water clean. Absolutely. So um, 
guys think about some things like this? Survival, and then of course, you know, the whole reason that we were offered uh, to take a look at this was because of our overlanding. overlanding. Um, and so this is also really, you know, any of those longer trips that we go on, a lot of times we don't have a source for clean water. We had to, when we were out in Colorado and Utah, we had to find places that would allow us to fill water. Um, and so, you know, we wouldn't have to worry about that if we had this type of filter. And in Canyonlands, we, we got very, very scarcely low uh, because there wasn't a place to fill. But we had a campsite right next to a creek. So this would have been, been perfect for that. All right, so what are your thoughts? Easier than you thought it was gonna be? Much easier than I thought it was gonna be, much lighter than I thought it was gonna be. I thought for sure that it was going to be heavy and bulky and clunky, so I kind of uh, dreaded having to haul it out here, but I mean, it was very, very easy. The accessory bag makes it very easy to put all the hoses and tubes into. Um, and then once we tossed it out, that thing started spinning, and it's very quiet. I was yeah. alarmed at how quiet it is. Doesn't you make didn't any even noise. know that it was turned on. You had to feel it and feel a little bit of a vibration. And it charges quickly. So, um, you know, the only, you know, that I can't really think of any downsides, downsides. to it. Um, I don't know how long the power lasts. So that's something that I would, um, I'm sure that we can find out from the website. So that may be a nuance, but I mean, the fact that it's USB-C to USB-C, you can plug that yep. thing right into um, our Blue Eddy, any type of power station, any type of outlet at home. Well, just so you know, guys, today we charged it with our dark energy, tiny phone charger. Yeah. The, the little, little portable spare, power bank. The spare, yeah, actually. So, you know, it charged right up, no problem. Yep. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys have watched this video to completion, be sure to give us a thumbs up to let us know that you are here. Also, drop us a comment. Let us know what you think about this eye to heal portable um, water filtration system. Water filtration system. And uh, if you have not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more adventures from Down South Adventures. Thanks for watching.